Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for being here as we mark this solemn occasion. I have to thank the Canadian Society for Yad Vashem for organizing this event. Every year, National Holocaust Remembrance Day reminds us to take pause and reflect on the horrors of the past and the challenges of our present and future. We're reminded of the more than six million Jewish men, women, and children who were sent to their deaths simply because they were Jews. Entire families systematically rounded up and executed, their lives brutally extinguished. Last week, I was in Toronto for Yom HaShoah, and I heard from survivors like Faye Kiefer, a woman of incredible strength, who bravely shared her story with us for the first time in public in her 90s. When we hear these stories, we're reminded that the Holocaust was a true horror, the likes of which the world had never seen before. Plusieurs femmes et hommes courageux venus de partout dans le monde ont riposté. Alors que le 75e anniversaire du jour J approche, on reconnaît les Canadiens qui ont combattu si vaillamment contre les nazis. Certains d'entre eux ont pu rentrer chez eux, beaucoup d'autres non. Malheureusement, la politique du gouvernement canadien de l'époque ne reflétait pas l'héroïsme dont faisaient preuve les Canadiens en uniforme. En effet, pendant que les soldats, les soldats canadiens, cherchaient à mettre fin au règne de Hitler, leur gouvernement menait une campagne antisémite ici au pays. After the Great Depression, Canadian lawmakers codified their discrimination against Jews in a non is too many immigration policy, in st in imposing strict quotas to limit the number of Jewish newcomers. This policy, unfortunately, was extremely effective. Between 1933 and 1945, Canada admitted the fewest Jews of all the Allied countries. Perhaps one of the most egregious examples of blatant anti-Semitism came in May of 1939, when Canada turned away the MS St. Louis, sending more than 900 German Jews back to Europe to near certain death. During wartime, many of the Jews that did make it into Canada were labeled as prisoners of war and detained alongside Nazis. It wasn't until three years after the end of the war that Canada's anti-Semitic immigration laws were changed. Well, this past fall, just two weeks after a deadly synagogue shooting in the U.S., I stood in the House of Commons and offered, on behalf of all Canadians, a formal apology to the Jewish community. I apologized for the MS St. Louis, for Canada's restrictive immigration policies of the day, and for the deep history of anti-Semitism in Canada that permitted such abject moral failure on the part of the government for far too long. It was an apology that was long, long overdue. Dans les années qui ont suivi le Holocaust, le monde a été ébranlé par l'ampleur des atrocités perpétuées par Hitler. D'une décennie à l'autre, d'une génération à l'autre, nous nous sommes engagés à garder les histoires des survivants vivantes et à veiller à ce que cette tragédie ne soit jamais oubliée. Mais les actes de violence antisémites sont aujourd'hui de plus en plus fréquents. Et le Canada n'est pas à l'abri de cette tendance. Selon les données les plus récentes, 17 de tous les crimes haineux commis au Canada ciblent des personnes juives, beaucoup plus par habitant 
que tout autre groupe de citoyens. Encore une fois, des gens remplis de haine osent sortir de l'ombre. Des discours ignobles se répandent sur les réseaux sociaux et infiltrent notre quotidien. On retrouve des croix gammées sur des institutions juives et dans des quartiers juifs qui ont été vandalisés. Un attentat a été perpétué dans, un, dans une synagogue de Pittsburgh l'automne dernier et un autre a été commis il y a peine dix jours près de San Diego, en Californie, encore une fois durant le sabbat, pendant les célébrations du dernier jour de la Pâque. Les leçons de l'Holocauste risque d'être oublié si on reste les bras croisés, si on reste silencieux face à ces événements. En tant que premier ministre, j'ai eu le privilège d'observer et de célébrer les jours saints avec les communautés juives à travers le pays. Mais j'ai aussi pleuré avec vous suite à la suite d'attentats survenus ailleurs dans le monde, des attentats qui sèment la peur dans les cœurs des Canadiens juifs ici, chez nous. It is our solemn duty, as politicians, as leaders, as human beings, to stand united with one voice and to say without equivocation that anti-Semitic hatred has no place in Canada or anywhere else, offering thoughts and prayers yet again in the wake of anti-Semitic violence and death just won't cut it anymore. We have to loudly declare that hatred will not be tolerated in our communities, near our places of worship, or on our campuses. And on that, I have been unequivocal in my condemnation of the anti-Semitism that pervades the BDS movement. As a government, we have increased funding for security at places of worship twice to acknowledge the evolving nature of threats against religious groups. We've stepped up our investigations into hate groups, including white supremacist and neo-Nazi groups, because once again, people filled with hate are feeling emboldened across the country and around the world to step out of the shadows divisive, hateful words and speeches and tweets spread across our daily lives online and in real life. So we just announced funding for the creation of a new anti-racism racism strategy. A number of leading Jewish organizations, among many others, have been an integral part of its development. And importantly, We continue to proudly declare Canada's unwavering support for the State of Israel. Israel has always been the national homeland of the Jewish people, and the Holocaust only reinforced the need for a state where Jews could feel safe. Out of our entire community of nations, it is Israel whose right to exist is most widely and wrongly questioned. Earlier this week, we strongly condemned the recent rocket attacks by Hamas and other terrorist groups. We will always champion Israel's right to defend itself and protect its people. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous ne pourrions pas faire cela sans le solide leadership de nos partenaires dans les communautés à, 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 partout au Canada, dont beaucoup se trouvent parmi les gens qui sont ici, dans cette salle. Merci de vos conseils pendant que nous travaillons à faire de notre société et de notre monde des endroits plus justes pour les Juifs et pour tout le monde. Today and every other day, We will stand with the Jewish community here in Canada and around the world as we vow together, never again. <laughs>